everybody it's Michelle and you may remember if you were following my healthy page and my healthy minds and bodies Facebook group about a year ago I shared with you guys a recipe that I had found online for a drink called turmeric boost and for me it's very important that I get turmeric daily because turmeric is very anti-inflammatory, which is very helpful for psoriasis, which I have myself, and many other inflammatory issues, arthritis and so many other things. And that drink combined the turmeric in with orange juice, which I found to be wonderful because the orange juice does a great job of masking the bitter taste of the turmeric, so I thought it was wonderful. But my problem with it was I have a problem drinking that much liquid and I was trying to drink my powdered greens mixed in with the liquid and then this mixed in with the liquid and I just really couldn't take in that many drinks. But like I said, I did really like the fact that the orange juice masked the flavor of the turmeric and I get my turmeric and the orange juice is very healthy as well with all the vitamin C and it boosts your immune system which also helps with psoriasis. So it was the perfect combination but I just didn't want to drink that much liquid so I decided to reduce it down and concentrate everything so that we can drink it in a one ounce or two ounce serving in a shot glass. So I decided to call it my booster shot. First of all, I've got some ginger here. Ginger is also wonderful. It's helpful for a lot of issues, not to mention just overall good for your health. And I'm going to be making a mini pitcher sort of thing full. I got this here at Walmart. And we're going to make about two cups total, but with drinking that in one ounce shots twice a day or a two ounce shot once a day, then we're going to be able to get a full week out of this little mini measuring pitcher. So for that week's worth recipe, I'm going to be using about three inches of ground ginger root. And this one is frozen. I keep my ginger in the freezer. It lasts much longer that way and it doesn't get a bitter flavor. And on top of that, when it's hard and frozen, it grates even better with my micro plane over here. So I'm just going to take one of my measuring spoons. I think I'm going to take that off of the ring there so it doesn't make a lot of noise. And I'm just going to take the spoon, you could take a regular spoon, and just sort of scrape. This is a great way to get that peel off without cutting into the actual ginger root and removing any of that. You want to utilize all of that that you can. So I'm going to be using according to my recipe that I developed, about three inches. So I figure that's about half of this root that I have here. So I'm just going to peel about that half and I can grate it down to there. And I love how easily that peels. It's even easier to peel also when it's frozen. Okay, so I think that's going to give me what I need. And then I can use my plate here to grate my ginger onto. quite a bit but keep in mind that this is freshly grated it's not dried and this goes into a recipe that's going to last us all week long so I'm just going to set that aside for now and I'm going to get my little mini pitcher and I'll leave you guys a link to where I got that from Walmart too very inexpensive and so handy with the measurements on there okay and the first thing I'm going to add is some raw honey also very healthy and very helpful for skin conditions and so much more. And I'm going to get all of that in there. I did warm that in the microwave again for only about five seconds. You don't want to get it hot. You just want to get it flowing a little more loosely. And I'm going to put that. That's one quarter cup of raw honey into my measuring cup. And in with that, I'm going to add my ginger root. 
And now for my turmeric, I'm going to use two teaspoons of ground turmeric. And also I have learned with turmeric that some things that help your body absorb that and get all that you need from the turmeric is if you have that in combination with a fat and we're going to use a healthy fat of course as well as black pepper so I'm going to put about three grinds of black pepper or about an eighth of a teaspoon if you already have ground pepper and then I'm going to put about two teaspoons of avocado oil so that we have a nice whoops a nice healthy oil in there to get the most from our turmeric and as far as healthy fats go, I usually prefer coconut oil, but I wouldn't suggest it in this because we're going to have to store this in the refrigerator and coconut oil is going to solidify on you. And if it separates and then solidifies, you're going to have one hard layer and we don't want that. The avocado oil is going to remain liquid so that we can remix that every day and make sure that we're getting it evenly distributed in every shot. And I'm just going to go ahead and stir up my mixture here before I add in my orange juice. And then I'm just going to add in enough orange juice to bring that up to our two cup mark. And I'm going to add in part of it and give it another mix. If you have one of those shaker containers with the little um, mixer ball in there, that would be really good to help mix this up. And I want to make sure all of that is incorporated and loose from the bottom. And then just add in the rest. Like I said, just whatever equals us up to that two cup line. And then I'm just going to put my lid on there. Another reason I chose this container is it has that little pour spout. So I can just pour out of there every day. And I just have a regular one ounce shot glass here. And you can drink a one ounce shot twice a day or I've got another measuring shot glass here that measures up to two and a half and I'll just pour that to the two ounce line so one ounce twice a day or two ounces once a day it's up to you it's a quick and easy way to get your turmeric boost in just one quick shot without drinking an entire eight ounce drink. And you don't have to use orange juice. You could use whatever is your favorite juice, apple juice, grape juice, pineapple juice, even uh, sometimes the Juicy Juice brand. I remember I used to buy that for my children when they were little and that has combination flavors, but it's still 100% juice. So something like that would be good. Whatever is the flavor that you think is going to hide it well and taste good to you, that's what you want. So I hope you guys like this, and I hope you'll give it a try. I hope that it's helpful for your inflammatory issues. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page, and be sure to join our Facebook group, Healthy Minds and Bodies. Also follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, and be sure to visit my blog. I'll have the links to everything in the description below, so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.